Hey everyone, Miranda Patron back here with you just to do kind of like a quick swipe tutorial. I've had a lot of questions about them lately and I see a lot of people getting into painting which is so awesome. Um, these little marks here, which I would call them swipes, I've just been calling them that for years, but in painting they apparently are called a comma stroke if you're using brushes. I've seen people call them dot drag, a lot of people are calling them swishes or swishies. <laughs> So there's a lot of different names for them, but just for my purposes, I call them swipes just so you guys know what I'm talking about. So ordinarily, I usually just use this brush, which is the Angle Spot Detailer, to do most of my swipes. But I just wanted to show you a few other tools that you can use to make so this little guy I've used to make them as well. This is the new etcher tool that I've been selling in my shop. And I find it really helpful, especially to do these shaped ones. If you want to kind of tuck them into a design, it makes it a little easier because it comes to a point and then you just kind of pull the paint down into position. So that's helpful. And then of course we have the angle dotting tools, which seem to be a staple in everybody's drawer as far as dotting art. Um, so a lot of people have these, so I show how to use these as well. So you can see there's some tucked in along here. I started using them years ago just as a, a side to stick in for a different element just because I like to use different things and the dots you know, are gorgeous so I wanted to add something else to them, just something different. But now you know you can add all sorts of shapes, especially to the mandalas. It's super fun and super relaxing to create them. Good morning everyone. I am stopping by today to just kind of do a tip of the day. Um, I get a lot of questions about how to create swipes. How do I drag them out so long? What tools do I use? So I figured I'd do a quick little just chat session about how to do some of the swipes. So um, we'll start off with the dotting styluses since those are, I think it's pretty popular and most people have these tools. Um, mine are bent, I angle them. I do sell them this way but I have a video on how you can do it yourself as well. Um, but it's they're, they're bendable, just be careful you don't break off the end. I'm using DecoArt acrylic paint just because these ones, just to show this, they're pretty easy straight out of the bottle to use and you don't have to add anything to them. So this is straight up paint from the bottle dotting stylus tool and paint on my palette here and so the the first thing this is the larger the largest one of this set so you can just practice to kind of see without doing anything additive no flow medium anything like that how long your swipes are gonna go with your tool so again this one is angled so it holds a little bit more paint in it than the straight ones Let's see if I have a straight one around here. Okay, so this is the wood set, but it's the same size and the three millimeter ball in the end, but you can see this one's straight as opposed to bent. So let's see the difference here with just a straight one. So you can see that doesn't go as far because it's not holding as much paint. So it's a little bit of a shorter swipe. So I picked up a little bit more paint that time. So that's going to vary. You just got to see how much paint you can get to stay on the tool. Let's see, that one's got a nice big drip on it, but we'll see. So see that one? I don't use it very often, so part of it is I'm not practiced with it. If it's something you use all the time, you'll get used to how long, how much paint to pick up. Um, so it'll be a little more uniform. But that's just the difference in the two. Same paint, same everything other than the angle. So that's one thing different. Alright, so now with the angled one I want to show you. I call this double dipping. I have no other thing other than to call it what it is. So I dip, all right, and I put my dot of paint down. I go back and then grab some more. And this is going to allow you to drag it out farther to make a longer swipe because you have more paint on the tool. 
And another thing you can do is if you want to go even farther, if you have more space and you want that thing to go super long, grab it. It's going to get thicker in the middle, but then you'll still be able to drag it out for a longer swipe. So you'll see people calling them swooshes, swipes. It's also called a comma stroke if you're painting with a brush. Thank you so much to one of my followers for teaching me that years ago. Um, but see, I'm learning new things too. We learn new stuff every day and we just help each other out. That's what we're all here for. So that's what I'm here for. Let's do this together, right? This little art community is so awesome. I love it. All right, so double dipping. Double dip. Grab some. Just make a pile right there like you're doing a dot. Grab some more. And then you can drag it out. And then grab it and drag some more. Now if you didn't want it to go this fat right away, you get your dot, grab some more, and you can drag it out, but then you can also just grab up a little higher here and just keep pulling from the last spot you stopped. I had a little too much coffee this morning, I'm wiggly, but you get the idea. <laughs> Um, but you can also play with them a little bit and round it out, reshape it, you know, drag some stuff off the other direction. I mean, it's just something to start off with as a base element and then you go from there. So that was the angle dotting tool. You can still double dip too with the straight tool and you will have more paint and more paint means you'll be able to go farther. So this is the straight one. And already we're going farther than the straight one went over here. So we can just grab some more and pull it out. And see it goes just about as far as the other one. It's the amount of paint that you're dragging. Alright, so the next thing you can use to do swipes, swooshes, comma strokes is a brush. And there's multiple kinds of brushes that I've used to create them. So this one that I have here is just a flat. You can see it's just flat. And this one's a size 4. And so I just dip it. And you're going to want to push down hard at the beginning and then let up as you go because you want your little tail, right? So we're going to push down at the beginning and then depending on how long you want it, it's all about pressure. So I could keep dragging it out, 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 out. And then when I want to make the tail, you just let up at the end. And I'll probably have to redip it, but depending on how long you want them to go, the more paint you can drag out, just like with the dotting tool. So. So you can just go on and on and on, and then when you're done, pull it up at the end. And you can curve them around. This is the comma stroke. Push down it hard, and then let up as you turn the corner. You can even go back and fix your tail if it's not exactly how you want it. So I find that's the beauty of brushes, is being able to kind of fix things, use pressure. And it just takes a little bit of practice, but you'll still be able to do the same shape. So this is the flat brush. And you can make them, you know, even wider at the top. Just depends on the shape that you want. And it's going to show up differently on paper as opposed to um, a stone. So again, it just takes some practice. And of course, different size brushes are going to do different things. So, yeah, this is a bigger one here. Hi, buddy. Of course, you can come down here. Yep. So, that's a larger. This one is a half inch. Alrighty, so back again, as you heard, I got a little bit interrupted and sidetracked and it turned into <laughs> a whole day and a half later here, but I was showing you just the different kinds of brushes that you can use. So this one is actually a long liner brush and 
this can also be used to do the long swipes. So some of you have been asking, how do you do the long, long swipes? So this one you can overload it. And these, if this is a little skinnier because it is a liner brush, but you can drag out with these too. And it just takes a little practice on how much paint and how far you want to go. But your paint thickness also is going to play a role in how far your swipes go, how long, how thick. Um, I think I showed the other day in the Arteza video, on the Arteza, of their new metallic paints. If I can grab some here. So this is their heavy bodied paints. And this is, generally I shy away from these for dotting. I'll grab one that's open here. Alright, I'll go with some gold here too. So you can see how thick that is. And if you were to take a dotting tool, per se, we'll go back to that green one that I used before. And we'll take the dotting tool and dip it in this thicker paint. You're going to get a different shape. So see how this is not even dripping off of here. So these will do short little fat petals or raindrop type shape. So that's kind of fun too. But it's just another another shape you can do depending on how much you put on the tool. It's a little less consistent. But it would just take some practice with that too. But you see the fun little petal shapes that you get. Raindrop shapes. I don't know why I keep saying petal. I guess it could be some sort of petal. <laughs> but uh, you see the raindrop type shapes with that too. So there's lots of fun tools out there. There's lots of stuff you can use from brushes to styluses. Um, I think actually even Sweet Willow Designs. Maria has a video, oh, I don't even know if I have any of these, there's a silicone tip one like this that's flat, that's just flat at the top, like a flat brush. I think she's done them like that. Um, she does swipes as well with those. But you can also, if you're using a flat brush, it's just kind of a How do I explain it? So you could even start off going the fat direction and then just keep turning it as you go. And that makes a swipe as well. I don't do it that way so you can see I'm not as well practiced. But really, really, you guys, I swear, it's all about practicing with the tools you have and what you like to use. And then the paint consistency, obviously, is going to play a huge part. So I hope you found this helpful. I know there's lots of people checking out dotting and painting now that we've been stuck at home and we all need some art therapy and some calm things to do but there's really some beautiful things you can do this is a handmade stone that I painted a while ago but you see you get like oval dots you can do regular dots this is the cherry blossom stone from the cherry blossom video so I just paint the large circles they're painted but Depending on your tools, there's acrylic rods that have flat ends like this that you can use. Which I think I use, I might have used for these ones, but I painted the center on this one and you can see it's the same. You can make them any size you want, dots. So I wish you the best of luck. There's a great art community here that we can all be a part of and share with one another. And I think we should all keep on doing that. So feel free to ask questions in the comments. I'll try to answer the best I can. And also look out on Facebook. There's lots of fun groups uh, that are super helpful with one another. There's a lot of helpful people who are willing to take some time and effort to just stop and answer questions. So, all right. I hope you are all doing well. And I look forward to hearing from you. And Hang on here for another second and I will pop my older video from a few years ago on how to do the close-up of the swipes. And I have, I have just and these ones have bigger and bigger. Smaller. And I honestly I don't, know, don't know if some of you have asked what millimeters, millimeters. I don't, I don't have, have a clue. I bought some, some cheapy little cheapy set little from the makeup, makeup shop. shop.
And this and one this actually, one I, broke I broke off myself, myself the, end the end because, because I, was I was trying to bend, to bend my tool tools so that I could make an angled angle one, one, and I broke, and I broke it. it. And it's actually come in handy, I caught my hedger, because I kind of sketch designs in with it, but I'm going to use these ones too, which I have bent. To find them very useful actually with the angle because that way you can see what I'm doing and I can see what I'm doing. And if it's on an angle, I can hold it kind of like a pencil as opposed to having to hold them perpendicular to what you're working on. Having to hold them perpendicular to what I'm doing. And if it's paint you need. And then I just start at the top and I just work my way slowly around if you want to do ones around your dots. And see that one didn't make it all the way? I got a little bubble in my paint there. So I just take one of my other tools and just kind of drag the tail out a little bit. Hi buddy, are you eating ice? Don't like the one that you've made. You can just hi, oh now you're saying hi. You can just wipe off the excess paint. And because we've used a background on the canvas, I just painted this canvas black. So whatever your background is, you can just go back over it with the black and erase the one that you didn't like. Did not like. Okay, so I just had to wait for that to dry a little bit, but now I got my black, and then we can just kind of blot it out. So it's not the end of the world if you make a mistake or if you don't like the drags that you've done, swipes that you've done, you can just blend it back into the background, and then start over. Okay, so while that's drying, I'll just switch to another spot here and show you again. You get a good amount on the tool, and you can make the swipes go around. Sometimes I'll drag them down into the other dots just for a different look. And see, I'm not choosing the right one here with enough paint. But just for a different kind of look, you can angle it off to the center, angle it off to the dots next to it. Kind of have to be a little leery when you're doing the next round next to them because you're going to have to go up in size just because you're going to have to drag it a little farther. So it's just going to create a different look depending on where you place it too. If you want to create your the end of your design here, you could always put the dot, drag the swipe down a little farther and drag it down. You can line them up with one another and create kind of like a piled up version of the swipes. So I like to angle them out if I'm going to finish like this next to each other. And you don't want to get them too close because while they're still wet they're going to run into each other but I'm trying to see if you can see on the video here how the edges start to dry a little bit. I have requested circles and then the edges on these start to dry a little bit. That's when I know that I can do the next one that they're not going to bleed into one another if I get too close. So that's helpful too to know is that in between, especially on videos, I'm usually trying to pause the video so that I can let it dry for a little bit. So I'm just going to do it again here from another angle just in case the other angle wasn't the greatest for you all. Oh, you're getting paint all over me. Stop! Stop. These are beautiful, but don't carry them hand. around until they're dry. And then start at the top okay. of the Okay. These are beautiful. Thank you. Or wherever you want to dry. Go put them over by your thing to dry. Okay. Maybe later we can <laughs> hang them on the fridge. Now I know, like, the word swipe and swoosh and all these make it sound like you have to do it quick, but it doesn't have to be. And just take your time and pull it down until the paint starts to run out. Do you want a piece of gum? To where you can end it. Uh, on the piece that you're working on. I want to open it. Because it 